Lord Jesus Christ. We will come up and say, calm down your storm. Those who wake up with God, they die with God. Wake up with the God. Only on Uganda Fast is brought to you by National Secretariat of Patriotism Corps, Office of the President, in partnership with NTV Uganda for God and My Country. A warm welcome to Uganda First, a program brought to you by the National Secretariat for Patriotism Clubs. We are thankful that you watch the show every Thursday and we do appreciate all the feedback. Patriotism, we have learned on previous episodes that it is to love your country and to do the good that makes it even a better place to live. This is good. I'm talking about uh, raising children now, uh, the, uh, this time, today, this Thursday. And we're talking about uh, instilling patriotism in children. Children who can take on the values of patriotism. Once children are taught about patriotism, there is a wide belief that the print of the way you have shown to them will remain and they will move on that course even in adulthood. Imagine a country with people that love it, people with sympathy, people that work for the good of all, that is patriotism. And we all want our children to intrinsically value and respect patriotism. But remember, parents must take the lead. And today, let us talk about the role of a parent in instilling patriotism. I am joined by Dr. Maggie Chigozi, a mother, doctor, entrepreneur, farmer, feminist, and chairperson of the African Scout Foundation, among other things. Also in studio with me is our Major General Henry Masko, representative in parliament and chief political commissar of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. Good to see you. Thank welcome you. to the show. Thank you. General, welcome, you. Dr. Much, much welcome. Thank you. Yeah, yes. instilling patriotism, you know, uh, in children. That's yes. uh, what we're going to discuss today, the role of parents. Yes. We all want to see people who love their country, but people, most people think it just starts, you know, abruptly. It's automatic. No. And we've had uh, several episodes here discussing that, and we're saying, no, it has to start from somewhere. Mm. It is not an automatic thing that people will just wake up and they are <laughs> patriotic <laughs> all of a sudden. It cannot happen. No. Yeah, it starts from home, then school, you know, among the peers, in, in so many places. Yes. And I believe today I have the right people to talk about uh, this topic of how parents can promote patriotism. Doctor, Yes. let's start with those examples that we can teach the children. Yes. Mm. Um, as a parent, you are actually the first person the child meets. And you are the role model for that child. For many years, actually the only one, like the first few years, you are the one with the breast milk, you are yes. the one who has all the solutions to all the problems. So it is you. That is the first example. Are you patriotic? Are you telling that child that, yes, I live in this country. Mm. It's beautiful. It has the best climate in the world. It is peaceful. It is rich. And you can live here and also make it in life. Uh, so it starts with the parent. We are the first people that tell the children. When you see a five-year-old standing up and saying, I hate this country. You know there is a big problem. Then who hates that country? <laughs> is it the five-year-old? It's the parent. It's the parent. Automatically. Automatically. So we are the ones who have the first chance to mold this child. Uh, and why would you do that? Why are we patriotic? Why do I love my country? It's my country. It's the only country that actually accepts that I am their citizen. Without a question. Mm, mm. They do not doubt that I am, I, I belong. I am not a refugee under mm. any circumstances. No, this is my home that God gave me. Now, if I cannot love that one, I've been a refugee. 
I've been to Zambia. I've lived in Kenya. Because of my position as a doctor, yes, I wasn't treated so badly. But I have seen what they do to other people. They put you in camps. They even close the camp suddenly. You, you stay have, there. You have no home, you know. Um, unlike other countries, we treat refugees well. As Uganda, we treat them well. We accept them. We take them into society. But if you've been a refugee elsewhere, you thank God that they gave you your own country where you are the number one citizen and uh, you have rights, you know? Mm. You don't have those rights. In, if I go to America, I don't have those rights that I have here, the right to everything, to life, to education, to I have a right here. So that is what you as a parent need to be able to tell your child so that, uh, and to show your child they see from example even more than what you tell. You can coach as much as you like. But if you are, your example is not mm -hmm. showing that, they will still pick you. You are the role model. I hear you. Jeno, coming back to you, um, the issue of uh, parents uh, teaching patriotism. Maybe uh, I, I should start. Where should a parent you know, start from? W mm. What should the discussion be like? Mm. Uh, uh, thank you, Ndugu Arusimbi. I had earlier sought your indulgence. This topic we are discussing had been or has been very passionate to many of us. Mm. Today I nearly missed it because I lost very key people. <laughs> Oh, you yes, are close to me. Yes, you've told me. Yes, yes. And uh, so I, I thought before I answer your question, mm. really to acknowledge them. Please. Muzei Kajawogo Karusoke, very passionate yes. about mentorship. Mm. He's being laid to rest this morning. I read a lot uh, of that Honorable Manzi Tumubwine in Iruchiga, very, very passionate. He was one of, even I've, I listened to some of the eulogies, an icon of parenting. Mm. He's being laid to rest. Uh, I, personally, in my office, I signed three, <laughs> three condolence messages. My own deputy, the deputy CPC, Colonel Nelson Ahewa, is laying to rest his dad, the retired sergeant of police, Maguru, in Ntungamo. My other officer, Lieutenant Lazio Tugume, is laying to rest his dad, um, Elisa Karamuzi Michiruhura. Then my own people, the, the teachers whom I work with and worked with, they are now mourning the Bishop of North Kigezi, uh, Right Reverend Benon Magezi. Uh, I, w I was definitely going to miss the <laughs> this. Oh, uh, that is life lost this, to COVID-19. Uh, but putting in the context mm. uh, that we are in a very difficult situation. Sure. But these particular lineup, very good parents. Now, going to the real subject, parents. As Dr. Maggie has put it, it doesn't actually start from breastfeeding. It starts from the conception, especially the mothers. Mm. The mothers, once I, 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 she stabilizes at three months, the embryo now stabilizes. The work starts there. She should be touching the baby to say, I love you, my mm. baby. You are gold. I've heard several that you, those you words are, are very and important. They, they go on the psyche of the embryo. Mm. It's biological, it's scientific. And if you see children, the way they behave, you need to interrogate how the parents behaved when they were in the womb. If the mother was stressed, if it was all violence every day, uh, the child will not be different. So parenting <laughs> for even the fathers, the moment you realize my darling is pregnant, start it there. Mm -hmm. Don't stress her. Don't, because all that goes to the psyche of this new thing that is going to come on earth. Now, 
lucky it comes on earth, as Dr. Maggie has put it, you the mother, you the daddy. The moment the, the mother you are told is in the hospital, be near so that you begin the job. You have to, when the, the mom is still feeling the pains, you the daddy, you need to come in, you the father. Even you in the village, don't say those are only for town people. <laughs> come in and touch that baby and say, we love you. Mm -hmm. It will understand. It, they don't talk, but they understand. Actually, they, that's the most de delicate stage, and that's where we're spoiling. The difference between African children and the children of other continents is that we kill them at that material stage. And actually, if we are, uh, 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 whoever is listening to me in the education cycle, in the parenting cycle, if Africa is to have a renaissance, then we must manage the early child, the, the, the early part of development of the child. From the womb, then when it is out there, the, the things that scare it, the things that uh, torment it, are the ones which make the brain pop. Mm. Our children would be inventing aeroplanes, they would be doing everything. But it's the environment in un under which we bring them up. And as Dr. Maggie says, inevitably, even when we can boast that uh, children now are in UPE and there is no, tie, no way that you will take a, 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 a one-year baby to, to UPE. So parenting is the first part of developing Patriotism. I, there has been a, a, a something on, on, on social media. Mm. I think this was a Chinese baby. It, it, it just crawling, it, it crawling. Then it was crying. I don't know for what reason. Then the national anthem mm. <laughs> roared. Uh -huh. the, the kid stopped, <laughs> stopped and put a very strong yes. hand up. Yes. Uh, the anthem ran after it ended, it put it down, then it <laughs> resumed <the> crying. <laughs> Child so, has been taught. So I, 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 to tell, I tell you, Ms. Nguarusimbi, we need to pay attention to parenting because that's where the whole chaos is. What are the things that uh, we can teach to children, say, before they turn four years, before they turn five, that are in no, line with, uh, 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 no, with patriotism? Five. From the womb, mm -hmm. yes, you discussed that years. part. Now, about 30 years, uh -huh. the, the major word should be I love you. Uh -huh. I love you, my child. I love you. Even if you are so strict, but let the child keep hearing that he's treasured. They are loved. They are loved. That's the thing youngness treasures most. They, they, and why they rebel against us? is that they miss, they miss that attribute. Because the youngness is about being loved, wanting favor. Even if when you see the animal kingdom, they are not there. They, they just feel like they mm. want to be mm. loved. And that's what every parent should do in theory and in practice. That is the first step of uh, patriotism, love. Because I even in adulthood, I realize when people do not share, when they do not extend love, usually we, we, we tend to live in chaos. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Uh, um, Be before five years, Dr. Before Amadi, five years. Uh, what is very crucial there that we should tell the children? Yes. Well, um, being African and with our culture, the way we were brought up, it's not as easy for us to say that word. Because for us, it also meant boyfriend, girlfriend. The, the oh so the somehow that word love. Love in the sense. <laughs> oh yes, we did not uh, so much take it up for every kind of love. Okay. Uh, so it is really for us something to learn that actually that is doable and you can do that. But okay. also just show the child. Say thank you. Say you've done that well. I appreciate. Um, you can show love even without, because if you do continually say, I love you, mm -hmm. and at the same time you don't show it, mm. you are harsh, you are beating the child, the child no 
use it. Accompany it with action. Uh, it must be accompanied by the action that mm. goes along with it. Mm. And then you expect also the child to do the same to you. Mm. And they will. They will. They will hug you. They will kiss you. They will because you also do the same. I remember my one-year-old son, you know, they couldn't, I mean, they, they are so attractive to mothers. Your firstborn mm -hmm. is just, you are so happy that he's around. And you just want to give him a kiss every time. And he would come back and say, notice, mommy, notice. Couldn't say, okay, tea. <laughs> but, you know, it was so funny. <laughs> Somebody is telling you, can you stop doing that? Uh, but at the same time, he's also laughing. So he's saying it, but uh, he doesn't really mean it. He doesn't mind uh, so much. So, you know, uh, he really wants to, to, to know that you want to be near him. You want to help him. You want to feed him. You are worried that he's doing this wrong. And if you show that clearly, then he knows also that he's loved, even without saying it all the time. For us as Africans, we shall have to learn to say I love you. It does not come naturally. It is to what is the word in Luganda? There's barely a, a, a difference. We're learning as you're saying. Yeah. They, they would be in the songs. The, the mothers would be uh, in the, in the, in the they would be poetic. singing for them, mm. yes, yes. But, but I think our local dialects, they can't cater for it, really. They, they, they can. They, they can. Do. Uh, if you tell your, your son or daughter, I think um, that is neutral. Mm. It can easily pass. L pass. Let's talk about um, uh, the books you know, children read. What kind of books should we be having mm. that can trigger the patriotism that we, we want this country to have? W what kind of books, what kind of literature should it be? Yes. For a, a five-year-old, mm. uh, let's say below 10 years, because now... They are grasping, they are learning quickly, yes. and it is uh, a very important time there to teach them important things. But what is that that we should be teaching? It is very unfortunate that we, over many years, it's now happening, it's changing. Uh, we have our own books now, and we have our own stories. We always had our stories, but they were not written down. They were not in book form. Just folklore. Yes, Word folklore, so talking to Jaja, she tells you a nice mm -hmm. story, um, and a very relevant story about king, uh, you know, all those fantastic kings we used to have. And you feel really proud that they were able to do that. You, they were able to, we are protectorate, we are not, uh, you know, they didn't take us over because they found us organized. Those are the kinds of stories that we now need to be able to tell our children. What, what? what the Europeans were able to, to write down was always from their perspective. Mm, so they were negative. Story. They were negative about a lot of things. And we, even our, us as children, we knew about Red Riding Hood. Can you imagine? <laughs> what is red and what is riding and what is a wolf? I don't know. <laughs> then we knew about Snow White. And the London now, Bridge. Snow is where. <laughs> I don't know. So the, we, we, we got it wrong. And that's why Often we think those people are better off. They have the snow that we don't have. They have, you know, Christmas in the way Father Christmas comes along and gives you a gift. Mm. And maybe we did not innovate on what is the other option that we as Africans can do. Uh, so our people have started writing books. They now have cartoons. They now have, uh, you know, books. So it is now for them to begin to come out with... Uh, simple stories for the below fives that we are talking about now uh, that they can understand but that they can also make them proud of their culture of their mm. of the way they cook of the way they they live the, the 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 beautiful beaches lake victoria the kings you know now you know you know kabaka you know king oyo you know them and you know about them and you are proud of them how do we achieve that and it is still a bit challenging with the other culture so much stronger. Television as well, we, we are on NTV now, mm. getting our TV to, to show more things that are local rather than those imported. When I went to America uh, to meet the diaspora, we played both anthems. So not we, they you, played you, you both Uganda anthems. And US. They played the US and our children. We were meeting the diaspora. These are not Americans. 
our children who go to school in an American school mm. had their hands over their hearts and tears almost running in their eyes Imagine. when the American anthem was being played. When the Ugandan anthem was being played, it was none of their business. To whom it may concern. It was to whom it may <laughs> concern. So how does that get changed? Even for our Ugandans abroad, mm. the parents to yeah, tell yeah. their children yeah, yeah. about a country that they really love, that is very beautiful and depoliticized. I think our challenge now is linking our country with politics mm, mm. and never seeing it alone with mm. all that it has. Jono, the kind of stories we, we mm. should be reading to, to the children. Very, Do very Dr. Mag is saying uh, we are the lion that never wrote its story of being a good hunter. So other hunters are claiming false mm. stories. Mm. Well, it's true. The pre-colonial society were rich. Mm. It had the, our societies had a very fantastic education system. Mm. You, you, you sh um, Dr. Maggie was wondering how uh, that uh, issue of bonding and children loving their mothers and so on, uh, whether it is African or not, it was. The, 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 the mothers, if one is to, to go into real history, mothers were the, the dominant. You know, the fathers came to begin to, to, to pretend to be dominant later. Mm. Societies were matrilineal in the, in, in the beginning. And uh, they had a way they would organize things. And, and the, the, the because they were in charge, they would instill that motherly love and so on, have a way of, of instilling it. The stories would be a, pre, a, 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 a preserve of now the old. And they are, the, every story was for discipline, for value, uh, values for uh, skilling, for I, I, I benefited from this because I, I, I was lucky to be tended by my grandmother. I have a catalog of those stories. Mm. And when you examine them in the real sense, either the story was skilling you, was giving you discipline, or was showing values of uh, don't, Darvage things in, in which are not supposed to be divulged. Mm. They were very rich stories. And and, the, uh, and your role as a, as as a citizen, as and a member of the community. So the, the young person who obeyed in that story, what benefits he would get? He became a king, or he married the most beautiful girl. The, the, the stories were very rich. The, the the me who who had that benefit. Uh, when I examined them, and I think Ndugwarusim, <laughs> since you've challenged me, mm. I, I think I'm just going to quickly right recollect them and have them somewhere. So that we, you know, uh, countries like China and other places had what is called cultural revolution. What cultural revolution means is getting from your own mm -hmm. and putting it in the present day to enrich and make your identity clear. So those stories are not what are being told by our young teachers in school. Because after four, many children now go to school. Now what do they find there? It is intense academic work. No, uh, academic. Academic, not academic commercialization, because now children become uh, business entities. Uh, secondly, the values they give them, they are no longer showing what it, how bad it is to steal, how bad is it to kill, how bad is it to... So the stories, we need to do a cultural revolution. In Luo, get those stories. In Uganda, get those stories. In Runyachitara, get those stories. Deconstruct them and make them go into instilling values before the child becomes 12. Because after 12, biologically, then the child is going through some biological, he, 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 he needs now a different approach. What, what you didn't tell them before, it becomes it difficult to, know, to start teaching to them. Mm. Because the thing you instill 
in that time, three years onwards, but building on how the baby has been raised mm. is very crucial in the adolescent stage. All right, later on we shall come to other issues like uh, conserving the environment, uh, doing home shows, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, so some children, many children actually, of the Dr. Maggie can attest to this. Mm -hmm. they, um, they, 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 they sit and, and the maids take on the, the, the roles the children should have been doing at home. Yet teaching children to do such things is, is one of those first steps really of uh, teaching mm -hmm. patriotism. Because how then in adulthood will you be responsible if you can't start it at home? All right, viewers, uh, um, yesterday we spoke to some people about this exact topic of uh, the role of a parent in instilling patriotism. Let's hear some of the people we spoke to yesterday. Best unit of a country or a, a society uh, in that, what, however big a state can be, it starts from a family where father and mother or the other relatives nurture a child. So the role of a parent, actually it would be one, and it's the major, is to instill good morals in that child. Whenever children uh, have morals, that's patriotism at its best. Why? When you look at um, things we are told that well, as children, do not do this, do this, you have to do this to be a good citizen. And imagine our uh, um, motto in Uganda where we say, for God and my country, if you do not put God first, and where do you know that you put God first? It starts from the family. These people you see, our leaders, who embezzle funds, who misuse that, who take their offices as tools to embezzle, those are people that were not natured, nurtured actually. Their parents used to grab, those are people you find in communities the parent, the mother does this, they bewitch others. So you end up failing to nurture or to bring out a patriotic person just because you fail to nurture your, your kid. Omano Kumukuzanga or Mutisa, we know Kuberanga or Muam or Muteka Medini, Nakurida Medini, Natia Mukama Katonda, or Kurabi Kanti, Asoboro Kubanti, Akuro Burundi. Nakumui Giriza. Okumanya chichichoko na guoko zote ya otamu doto kuna vikanti Uwe imiriza ono uberanti okuna angatoke nze kubba, angatoke nze kukona vino Uchulida, ni haba na haba singa, haba kuzane, wabazade tebapa kubana Na amuleka u, umwana na hata andika kutaya ya kuronda bisipe ya kukona viki Tako ntulinze mwana, hata ya gana kumuwa vya kulia Umwana yeye igire vya kulia, uyo mwana hata somona kukuna anga mwana mtu mwagwanga Emisingi gwe gufumbo, mama ni tata. Oluwalero mama ni tata biyako makumirembe jansambu, abantu wakuma ni mama ni tata angabatu hudu. Leo tukulana singo mamu, tukulana singo dadi. No kulila kebo sunju, ni baku tuwale wa senga, no jako mchibuga, no kula kwa wawo sigaro, no ofu no urubuto. Insi no ujichawa, totu dewa antu wamu kusenka na kumanya. Chovola anti abamu, baro oza anti ensi ya Uganda ambi. Ne baduka ne bagende weru, atobu lamu ne bugana ne baku mawana. So, chengamba chiribwejitu, okuwa gale guanga katichizivu na dalo kufamu waka gweche nda pako uruwari labana abazali duwao tekulia nza kuwa gale guanga li kubanga na eta ya gadua government yovori yawe mwa gade chitono sosate mwa kulitete mwa gade mama ya tata ya bali kawonga bato ni bakula ni mama yeka katibali musiba achetu wala chovora ba uwe wafe chikambo cha chana cha ambata so, echo chibe la chizivu nyo okuma wakuma wakuma chiva mbuto ate chibata haku igiriza mbuto Mubukuru ni wachi kusonse kama wachi isa mkundi. Tulio mwana, ya sobo lango kukunjulua abantubo na kuchalo, ababa mwetolo de. O mwana ya itanga, wane ibanga, mita tata, neba no. Elanga chizibu nyo kumanya umwana, titata weye gundi. Kubanga bonaba mwitanga mwana wawwe. Kate chintu echo, enaku zino, echitali nyo mwazade. Buli mwana, abamu bazimba nyumba za habikomera. Habana babele yu mbikomera abya abwe. So teba manya mkwano guli msosa ya teno. Na mwana chi mzade cho ina mugamba. Olibu wa mugamba, neiba alaba anga mugambia chivi. So nga luli cha wango mwano yu okumanya ebi nitu ebili mchitundu. No kwa agala wane. Echo nga chi mtuwa ala waguru no kumanye siye. No kujagala. Kubanga boyagala wano bemuwe ilaga no kumpi. 
chiba chikula ganti never know awalala mosi endala waguru oja kubo baagala zendo waza omwa omwa na kumutegeka o kwa gari kwa ngari no kuba nempisa bazade biva kula hekisoke ruako kuba omuzade chono kula chono kula eriku makago omwa na ngaraba chaja kula ngakula zewe tio zendo waza zendo waza omwa na jafuta ni kila dala ili jazaribwa makagava mu a wajaku wajaku kujempisa wajaku jabu di chimuicho na chini na kora ne guango kuri agara kwa tasa kwa agara guangari e ngane muna muta kwa abamu mize baji jamu mikuano jabu e abamu na yenzi nesika manyo ku amuunta wa kuri de wanta wa kuri amuana wa kuri de wa kuri nyonyo 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 kwa chini mani burundi wado muana masomiro baji yempisa mbi mosanganga Amakaga gundi nga muga manyi, mwakula na, na bonga mbalaba, teri mubi, teri muzego na, ayo mwana akuze, nga yunu onesi. Kale, e, e, naku zino tuine e, mbombe government, government tu yambi, sima ye government uwe ingidira muna ye, mm -hmm. amaka, abazadi, bateka teka wana wawe, baleke kubateka tekera, na iba bateka teke, kwanza. I have to educate him, him or her, so that he plan for him for a better future. So it is better for a parent to, to teach his or her own child so that he become, he become a perfect man in his future. When you educate your child, he can't suffer in the future. So it is better for a parent to, to have something to do for his children. But to be in Uganda may go to Palsy. Echi atuga amba for God and my country. Kwa watali katonda, nothing can happen. Aba ntubonge doksula katonda, no kuroza ntali yo. Aba ntuba ino okuda kumusinji guoku agala katonda, okumanja katonda, okusinza katonda, okuweleza katonda. Aba vubuka wewe unyokula vanga vafu maba ntuba bakulu. Na aba zadebe njini baba wagida. Ate mtu tutu. All right. So those are some of the videos we spoke to yesterday about the role of a parent in instilling patriotism. Very... Uh, articulate points. Um, I can hear uh, very good ideas coming out of uh, that interaction. You're watching Uganda First, brought to you by the National Secretariat for Patriotism Clubs. Thank you for watching. We can, uh, can we have a, a look at one or two or three even messages from WhatsApp? We shall have a look at more uh, once we return from the break. This is a very great uh, program. Thanks for hosting those two panelists and uh, add that parenting begins while the child is still in the womb. As a father and a mother, <laughs> do the following. Read the books to the child in the womb, sing for them, touch the womb, always pray while touching, exchange some sweet words as parents, treat the mother very well, avoid stressful experiences to the mother. Uh, yes, General Masco put that very very clearly it's unfortunate that um, a group of ugandans think that there is a father in brackets parents who can tell their children to love uganda a country where even covid vaccines are stolen where children sit and write in dust where parents okay <laughs> thanks a lot for the program um, thanks to general masco we surely need to do some storytelling to children especially on our country's history Ronald Magezi, Fort Porto. You can't preach Pan-Africanism even uh, when you're preaching Pan-Africanism. You're working under the... You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kalwani Joseph, a senior police officer now. It's true patriotism has to start at an early stage. My father is a retired army officer and he was once a trainer at Chankwanzi PTS. So... During our childhood, he would sensitize us about the country, and whenever there would be any national celebration on TV, say Independence, etc., he would invite us to sit and follow the extent that we would stand on attention while the national anthem would be sung. Hey, this must be, must have contributed to my decision to serve my country. Thank you, Karan. We shall have uh, a look at other messages coming in uh, through WhatsApp later on after this short break.
Now that's hitting the right notes. When life gets boring, we bring out our play. You see, playfulness is in our DNA. It's in the way we move and laugh. It's in the way we walk, the way we rock, and how we just don't stop. You feel me? We add color to everything, to every day and every dish, because the world needs our crazy. We're the different flavors that make life more exciting. We're the ones who add color to every moment. Fanta, color every moment. Do your gums hurt? Yeah. Does your toothpaste contain sage, eucalyptus, mirror, chamomile? All that in one toothpaste? Yes, try Colgate Herbal. Colgate Herbal contains nature's best herbs and Colgate's fluoride technology to give you strong teeth and healthy gums. Ah, Colgate Herbal. Let's go. Colgate Herbal for strong teeth and healthy gums naturally. Introducing Rolex Express on Glovo. Get Nyanyam BC from 2,000 Uganda shillings and Rolex with homemade meals from as little as 7,000 Uganda shillings. The day the world stopped was the day we found where to go. From now on, we are not going to leave anything on our plates because we've learned to savor the moments that were always there and they never tasted this good. Right. Thank you for watching Uganda First, brought to you by the National Secretariat for Patriotism Clubs. My name is Frank Olisimbi in studio. I am with Dr. Maggie Chigozi and uh, Major General Henry Masiko. General Masiko, uh, when is the best time to teach children about uh, government? Um, government. Government in the sense... The, the of, the body, the, of the, the body the, authority, the, the, the relationship yeah, between you and that, 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 that runs the country. Um, I think it ought to start right in the school system. If resources would be available right from nursery schools, because when when are you beginning to appreciate government, the symbols of government? Mm flag, the anthem, the motto, the values of the nation. Actually, the best time. You remember what I told you that that, that time o, o, of the baby who was crying and the anthem came? Yes. And the, the, the Actually, <laughs> recently I saw my granddaughter. She, she was being funny, jittery. When the band started playing the anthem. She, 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 she sort of... She became alert. She became alert and kept quiet because... So maybe let me not go to school, as uh, Dr. Maggie told us. In America, she found our children detached from Uganda values. So it is a parenting issue also. The, 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 the young person should be seeing the parents respecting national, national symbols, national authority. Mm -hmm. If they, 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 in the home they are so negative about uh, what goes on in their own, uh, own society and civic uh, authorities, the child definitely will be negative. And we, we, we see it, we visit some schools, you find children very negative about government. So I, it must start with, <laughs> it's part of parenting. Mm. Uh, uh, because now we can't say there is no government any time. At any time there will be a government. So I think among the responsibilities of parenting again is making this kid relate to the authority in the land. And uh, I think in Uganda, Dr. Maggie can uh, testify to this. I think that one they do. Kabaka war 
Mm. <laughs> yes, that has been on. So, so I years. know now you, for me who comes from Chigezi where we didn't have uh, centralized authority, <laughs> It Everybody is a, is a king. It is a different story. So we, we need to be really nurtured very well to, and if you don't, then we remain rebellious. So you can see Uganda, they would teach you societal issues, but also Kabaka war. So it must start. <laughs> I, I think even in the womb, they mm. must tell you. Mm. I think when we, were being when we were colonized under colonial administration, the queen, my mother, who never went to school, knows they how to sing the, the, the colonial, <laughs> the, 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 the English anthem. She, up to date, she sings it in Ruchiga. She's 86. Imagine. She still now knows, she still remembers uh, God save the queen. Mm -hmm. She has not learned the East African anthem. Uh, that, that one, <laughs> she, she, it's <laughs> San Christian now. That one for her is San Christian. Interesting. But you had somebody so, there saying um, that uh, children these days even insult leaders. They do. They and I think the problem, as, as you're saying... Um, Actually, I liked this young man who was saying it all starts with the topmost authorities, the sovereign, if we are to say the sovereign is God. It's the definition of God which our children need to understand. Dif and you normally hear it, our reverends and the sheikhs talk about it, God is good. Goodness. What they don't go in detail is to preach goodness about God. Mm. You can't love God when you are not doing good things. Then you are deceiving. It's empty. So start with teaching the top authority who is God. Then his, his representatives, they be the parents, to love the parents. Because we say, then the leader. I think that should be the hierarchy. Mm. Love God, love your parents, love your government. Should it, children it, tend, it, to it, ask, it, mm. tend to ask when watching TV, mm. uh, Daddy, who, who is that man? Mm. Uh, sometimes referring to the president or the mm. vice president. Mm. That is the time now, I think, a parent yeah, has yes. to come in and... Uh, no, it's uh, amazing. I, had, I, I remember I, my firstborn, there is a way he had a passion for the president. Every time he would come on, on TV, he, he would... And I, 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 I didn't know why. Maybe he had seen me with him or something. Mm -hmm. But and up today, he, he's been nagging me that I want to meet that friend of mine. Mm. <laughs> so uh, you, the pen, again, I think Duguarusimbi and Dr. Maggie, we should agree mm -hmm. that <laughs> the, the time for authority respect mm -hmm. must be home. Exactly. Dr. Maggi, uh, mm. responsibility uh, of, a ci of a citizen or responsibilities of a citizen. When should we talk to children about these responsibilities, roles, the, the roles. of a good citizen? Yes. Um, it is important that, uh, first of all, as I said, even the first one, you have to be the role model. You are not going to steal and be the corrupt guy and then come mm. and... Uh, and teach your child differently, he, he can see. Be the example uh, you want to see in others. Exactly. So be, the, be that example and they will, they will follow. Um, but secondly, uh, we, it, it is critical that uh, the, the positive things that are happening, uh, I think we have such a fantastic media that will pick up everything that's wrong that has <laughs> gone wrong because everywhere. It makes news. It makes news. I, I mean, that, that's but what that's they are there value. for. that's value. Now you are <laughs> instilling value. Yes. The world is yes. Yeah, I like that discussion when it comes up. Yeah. Yes, and it's not only Uganda. Yeah, I mean, of. go to CNN, you will just switch off and go and sleep. Mm. And you won't even be able to sleep because you hear about Liberian, you hear about, you hear about uh, you know, the Middle the East. The and the we, we, were just well, we were just having a debate in the morning saying, yes. but can't we do something positive today exactly. mm, about this whole uh, fight against COVID-19? And exactly. we are great to do something positive. Please. <laughs> I mm. saw a start. Is it the monitor? They've yes. shown three people who, I mean, how many people die? Every Actually, day. Uh, yes, but it's still a small percentage mm. compared to the ones who, who are recovering. Who are recovering. But we get no stories about recoveries. 
we get all the that negative is exactly stories. exactly the line we're, we're discussing. Yes, so please let us hear from those mm. who have beaten it. You have a point. Yes, uh, and same thing for the children. Uh, do they hear good stories? And the truth of the matter is they watch TV. That's, that's where they hear. They, they listen to the radio. So everything is, oh my God, go to the Luganda news. Terrible. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, why are not the Luganda news a, a, a translation of the English news? They're not. It's who killed the neighborhood child, who raped the woman. So these people who watch uh, Luganda news, and I'm sorry, Mutabani, you are the reader, uh, uh, but uh, I'm sure uh, you're not uh, the writer. Content, but but we, unless <laughs> we do good analysis, yeah, we are not alarmist. <laughs> 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 but I get the point. I clearly get mm. it. Clearly our news, uh, uh, generally, sometimes it's very negative. It's very mm. negative. Uh, uh, but, uh, but then challenge... When you, you, you even think Uganda is simply the, 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 the jokes department. Mm. But Uganda, what is going on in Uganda? The it's, positive it's more things than which it's are more going on. That. I don't know the, 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 the media house owners really deserve they need to do Uganda a better service. Mm. No, but it's both ways. Is government showing off? Are you telling the positive stories? Mm -hmm. And I saw, uh, you know, a real deal with the communication teams at Changwanzi. Mm. Government has PR people. Mm. I saw them in a, Where a, are they? in a session we there. We talked yes. to them. And with and the where point. are they? they uh, and, uh, I did ask one person and she said, whenever I try to say anything, they say, I am corrupt, so I shut up. Mm -hmm. Is that the solution? Your shutting up is not the solution. Mm -hmm. They say you are corrupt. Tell them I'm not corrupt. I have not stolen this. I have not stolen mm -hmm. that. And then go on to say, but with that money, I did this, this, this. So really, it's, it's positive stories from the, our leaders. Mm -hmm. And much is so, so much is positive no, in Uganda. Dr. Madi, it's policy. Because... You know, we are not uh, now a, a command government. We, we liberalize. Yes. So we need to really be emphatic. I, 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 I am very eager to meet Dr. Wariomunsi because it's, mm. it's, it's, that's where a bit of the problem is. Information. Because if we don't use the media, the space Positive. to do mobilization of society, we are in, 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 in a crisis. And we, however much government you would want to be smart, you, if the things which affect the psyche of the population are not worked on, and who does it? Because in the past, it would be Radio Uganda. It I mean, who <laughs> conditioned us in his yeah. way. Because he would read, he, he would know what is going to go to the, the people, yeah. himself. You really? would edit it. Now, everybody, anybody, uh, media houses, uh, young people, uh, it's bad to be talking about that. On, uh, <laughs> no, I, I get the point. We, we had uh, a, whole, a whole episode here, you know, trying mm. to, you know, find a solution. How can, you know, this good about Uganda be brought uh, to the people? Yes. And uh, uh, this is one of the programs uh, lately that does uh, this good work. Mm. Yes, we tell Ugandans that, look, uh, aside from the politics, aside from the chaos, our country is not perfect. No country is perfect, by no. the way. Even when you go to Europe, U.S., wherever, there is media that, you know, will try to, 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 uh, to put on air things that are negative all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is that good. There is that good. And I think yes. parents have a role to, to tell the children about this good, yes. mm -hmm. uh, which is... Uh, I was asking actually that yes. the, the role o of a good citizen, mm -hmm. much as TV is showing this, radio is saying this, but you have a role as a child. Yes. And, and the question is, uh, what is that? When should, when is the right time to interact with the children about that topic? Yes, uh, the the children have a role to play, and they have their rights. They have, they should have their expectations, and they should know what the challenges are that uh, maybe they are not achieving everything that they would want to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is important that uh, the parents, first of all, the teachers, NGOs, NGOs do a fantastic job of uh, uh, talking to the children, bringing them and uh, sharing with them. Um, 
issues that are important to them to their lives sexuality for example when they begin to grow older you know family planning um, and uh, you know sexuality and uh, diseases HIV AIDS now COVID COVID is top of everybody's mind mm -hmm. and I think most children unfortunately are so scared all they see is put on your mask mm -hmm. you know they they have not seen yeah. The, the, that the, yeah, there's very little positive about COVID, but uh, we are scaring everybody uh, to, you know, really scare the children. They're getting depressed and all that. So how do we now, yes, keep them safe, tell them they have to be out of school because of COVID, uh, but what else can they be doing um, at home, for example? Are they learning to cook? They're learning to clear. I think we talked about, uh, Major talked about, yes, yes. Major General talked about that earlier. Uh, learning to cook, learning to, you know, d uh, pick the coffee. Uh, and so we need our children to, even those of us who are I in cities, to, to learn to, 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 to look after themselves. Um, I think that's an important thing. And uh, we need to help them uh, try and stay in school somehow. Okay. Those who have, mm -hmm. uh, um, some of us, the international schools are studying on Zoom, even the local schools are studying on Zoom or newspapers or whatever, but what else can they do? I, I think that's a very important area. Uh, yes, Major, in uh, one, general, uh, in one uh, minute. Uh, the intervention of the president to start uh, patriotic education was actually focusing what are your duties as young people. Mm. We, we've said you deserve to be loved, you deserve to be mentored, you deserve, but you also have duties. Duty number one, know that youngness is time for learning. Mm -hmm. Young people must respect learning. They, 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 we must instill this, the, the sense that, that this is time for learning. Secondly, work, respecting work. Thirdly, uh, uh, being able to know that they are th they are things of old people and things of young people, so they have a duty to preserve themselves for the future. Okay. They have a duty to respect authority. So we we need to tell them why we we owe you things because you are young. We need to care you for you. you also have a but duty you also to need there are things of youngness. Learning, mm. discipline, uh, working, loving work. To, to me, I am old, my back can't carry what you can carry, so that they don't look at work as punishment. Take pride in work. Take pride I in even work. Even the Bible teaches that. Yes. Thank you, Major General, General Masiko. Thank you, Dr. Magichigozi. Hey. <laughs> okay, Th there's people who had sent uh, messages, uh, quite many. Can you say like three? Okay, thanks for the show. Um, why is everything foreign? Uh, first of all, let's uh, challenge everything back uh, to default settings. Mm -hmm. Very funny, the Uganda National Anthem is still in English. The Swahili version is there. I uh, even know the Uganda version. How do I join the program? Because I lost hope and hope in my country. Damn. Oh, The program airs every Thursday at 11 a.m. afternoon. The only way to teach our children about patriotism is when we fight hard and stop domestic violence. Very good. Once our families are happy, Definitely we shall have a better Uganda in future. Let's stop at that, uh, friends. It's uh, just a minute to the top of the hour. I thank you for watching. Dr. Maggie, I thank you again, and uh, Major General Henry Masko. Thank you for accepting to create time for this show. My name is Frank Walisimbi. Have a good afternoon. First is brought to you by National Secretariat of Patriotism Corps, Office of the President, in partnership with NTV Uganda for Gold and My Country.